might seriously be distracting some bikers. We don't want any accidents over there. Welcome to Sturgis 2024. Good job on cycle, Greg. Thanks so much. Welcome to Sturgis. Where, you, where are you from? Minnesota. You having a blast? Having a blast. You enjoy. Always a good time. 84th annual rally, picking it up again. Cycle Drag Universe motorcycle fans, welcome back to the 84th annual Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. I hope you saw our first video. We got a lot coming in this video, so get ready. Now, I had to start here because I've been getting a lot of questions. Is there really a Harley Davidson boycott going on? So we wanted to come down here and investigate and see what's going on. We're going to talk more about that in a little bit. We're also going to go to the Buffalo Chip, show you the bike wash. We're going to check out the best paint bike show. We're going to see a whole lot of stuff in this video. Plus, I think it's getting wilder and crazier around here. So buckle up. Let's go. And we begin first with Harley Davidson. If you've been following the news right now, they're in a little bit of a social media war. And there's been a Harley boycott that they've talked about. There are a few people under the tent at this point. If you watched our coverage last year, you know that the boycott was on for the Budweiser tent. Now, some are accusing Harley of going woke and have organized formal boycott. Like I said, we're gonna get deeper into this in just a little bit. I wanna know your thoughts down below. Another look at the Harley tent right now. So I'm checking out the new machines. We're gonna talk more about Harley coming up in a future video, so make sure you subscribe. But as for now, Let's check out all the craziness here in Sturgis. There it is, guys, 2024. Come see me at Iron Horse. Look at the amount of bikers rolling in. It's been a big day of live music as well. Welcome to Sturgis. Great job, great job. 84th anniversary. We hope to see a lot of you here for the 85th. We've got the Can-Am here as well. Just be careful, just be careful with sandals on. Be careful, she might need her boots. She might need her boots. Three wheels. You want to dress for the slide, not for the ride. I do recommend boots. Progressive with a big presence here, as always, at all these motorcycle rallies. Shout out, you having fun? Yes. That's what it's all about. Who's that lady I was giving a hard time two moments ago? We got to get her a pair of these. Cycle Drag would be happy to do that. We're here to spread goodwill. of history right here it is in 1929 indian scout 750 cc v twin and then over here we jump to the year 2024 take a look at the 1250 cc liquid cold v twin these things make about 111 horsepower very very cool bike the indian scout is back let me know your thoughts below welcome to sir this Never get sick of looking at motorcycles. This is the place for you, no doubt. Presence of 
Good guys, looking good, good looking motorcycle. Look at this group all ready to ride here in Sturgeon. We do gotta give a big shout out to law enforcement keeping everybody safe. They beat things up, but I think unfortunately this pickup truck might be in trouble. What do you guys think he did? I'm seeing a lot of really cool trikes too. And you're driving around all these great people? Yeah. Thank, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, This area so much. Some of them say, "Hey, when I pass away, put my ashes right here." That's how much I love Sturgis. That's how much I love the motorcycle community. Where are you guys from? Billings, Montana. Montana is here. What the heck is upstairs here? You guys got to help me with that one. Roof. You never know what you're gonna see. The crops. Do the crops fit in at Sturgis? Yes, they do. Cool crop. What the heck? Our view, that's okay. Dude, dude, awesome, very people will come to Sturgis with nothing more than a tent. 10 days in a tent. Could you do it? You can tell who's really been doing some riding here in the Black Hills. That is what is so cool guys about Sturgis. How are you doing? Check in with the lovely ladies of body painting. How's it going over here? Good? I'm great. How much to get a body painting done? It depends on what we're doing to your titties. For these lovely ladies we are putting some pretty little tattoo situations. Okay. Starting at about 25, going on up to the ceiling. That's For this lady behind us, however, we're doing a full body paint, and we're starting at about 150 with 150 her. for full body paint. Well, 25, that's like the price of a t-shirt. You can't that's be right. there, right? Oh, okay. yeah. I'm thinking that's for one boob. Oh, I got the other to do. She's got the other. Yeah. Great uptick in business too for the merchandise shops, the people that sew patches on leather vests. I think that is so cool. You can get it all here. I'll tell you, I'll tell you where else was rocking that I want to take you to real quick. And that is the legendary and iconic Buffalo Chip. I was there earlier today. That's where Jelly Roll will play. That's where Kid Rock will play. It's a massive campground. Here's what was going on there earlier. Now, you ladies might have the coolest boss. I know, right? Now, Mark, part of this job is shotgunning a beer. Yeah, Mark, it's, it's a job requirement to work at the Hunter Detail booth. <laughs> well, it's good to work at Hunter Detail, that's for sure. Yes. Of course, Mike keeps you hydrated, you know. That is a good way to stay hydrated and enjoy the day. Nick, you're the gods. Very cool, guys. Hunter Detail. They're going to shotgun a beer. They just got done washing this motorcycle over here. Yeah, savage. Okay, we ready? Now that is the spirit of Sturgis. That is what it's all about. There you go. There you go. That'll keep you detailed on the motorcycles. How many how many motorcycles you think these ladies detail? About 75 a day. Seven. When you detail 75 bikes a day, you deserve a cold one. Yes, you do. Now how about you? Are you gonna be detailing as well? No, I own the business. Oh, so I you own okay. the business and sell the product. Oh, good so. for you. We got both. 
working hard though, love it. Well, you're a cool boss. <laughs> Shout out guys, show them some love down below in the comments, working hard, detailing motorcycles, shotgun and cold Coors Lights. Bikini bike wash rolls on. How you doing, man? What's your name? My name's Gabby. I'm from Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. West Virginia. How, are you a Mountaineers fan? I am. I That's am. what it's all about. Okay, so you got that West Virginia toughness. I want to know, how do you withstand 10 grueling days of cleaning these motorcycles? Lots of water, electrolytes, and uh, beer once in a while. <laughs> hey, they've been working hard washing motorcycles. They deserve a cold one. A couple what is, shots. What's the hardest area to wash on I'd have to say when bikers have white walls, there's a special cleaner that we have that takes care of that and makes them bleach white. But you have to get literally on your hands and knees with steel wool. It's so pretty afterwards. Very cool. Not a bad thing to get done. Get your motorcycle washed in here and start to sell. It takes 45, 50 minutes. Well, keep up the good work and $40 gets it done, right? $40 plus tip is always nice. Plus tip. Congratulations. Go Mountaineers, guys. She's the best. Come see her at the Bikini Bike Wash here at the Buffalo Chip. Great job. It's nice to see people enjoy their job. That's the way to do it. Have some fun. Don't you all wish we could enjoy our job that, that much? That's cool. That's the way it should be. Look at the amazing custom bikes that we're going to see here as well. Major motorcycle show going on as well and art exhibit. Check it out, guys. This is the Evo show. Tons of shows going on all week long, especially right here at the Buffalo Chip. People that are in the industry, we're going to figure this Show, present. Right here in front of me, you see this $13,000 is what's being paid out to the winner of this Evo show. Certificate for a thousand bucks for black bike wheels and a set of tires. Shopping cart. Anybody bring an extra truck? Wrapping up the biker bell show and congratulations. You won best paint. Amazing. Take a look at that and even more special. You're telling me that's a shrine to loved ones. Yes, tell, absolutely. Tell me about that. My son, who I lost in 2020, and my grandparents, who have both passed on. Uh, God bless you. How much does it mean to come out here to Sturgis and win this show in their honor? It's an honor. Complete honor. When you, you come here, you see so many great-looking motorcycles. Great, looking great to see the five Jack, what's up, man? Good to see you. Number 26, Eric Poulin. Come on up, brother. Eric Poulin. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
good. Uh, cycle drag universe. This one is painful. What do I always tell you on here? We got to keep these drag strips alive. We got to keep these drag strips open. Take a look at Sturgis drag strip right now. It is shut down this year. The future is very much uh, in question. We don't know if this place is going to continue. We don't know if it's going to shut down. Uh, there was a dispute between the owners and the leaseholder, but Right now, drag racing community loses. I constantly tell you, we need to keep these great tracks open. Here at Sturgis, we'd be wrapping up an HDRA event. We'd be getting ready for the Baker Transmission Wednesday night drags. It was a huge success, but as for now, Sturgis Dragway shut down, not operating, no drag races this year. Let's hope somebody watching this out there can get it together and next year we can have an amazing event here. Cycle Drag will be happy to help. You know we're all about this sport. We're trying to promote this sport. But I tell you, we have to face reality and we have to admit there's a problem if we want to have a chance to fix the problem. Some people don't like me talking about drag strips closing, but guys, Atlanta Dragway, West Palm, ADCO, Kansas International Dragway, Fontana, the list goes on and on. What else did we lose recently? Sacramento, r recently we lost. And a, a lot others with bad rumors attached to them. Let me know down below what we can do, what your ideas are to keep this sport moving forward. We can't afford to lose too many drag strips. Can't afford to lose this one here in Sturgis, especially for the motorcycle community. It's a very important part of it. Let me know what you think down below and here's hoping many more years to come at Sturgis. Back. I agree, I agree. Bring we need it back. back, Sturgis Bring Dragway, back. let's go, let's go. That young lady wanted Sturgis Dragway back. Guys, it's deafening. I hope you're enjoying all this coverage. We've got coverage. subscribe so you don't miss a thing racing jack on youtube that's our other channel get subscribed there and we got much more coming from sturgis thank you guys so much for watching you know if there's anything fast motorcycles around we're in cycle drag Oops.